Hey everyone, let's talk about rotoscoping and how you can use it in After Effects. So when you think of rotoscoping, you might think of painstakingly drawing over a real person and turning it into something animated. And that's not really what the rotoscoping tool in After Effects was designed for, but just give me a couple minutes to show you how to do it, and then I can show you a couple really interesting ways you can use it. So I've got this clip of a baby walking, and I'd like to make it so the background isn't visible. I just want the baby walking on its own. You could go frame by frame and mask it out, but who has the time for that? Instead, we're going to rotoscope it. Double click on the footage to isolate it and make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline because that first frame is going to be used as a reference by After Effects. Now go up here and select your rotoscoping tool and just draw over your subject. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a quick trace for starters. Once you do that, you'll see After Effects has outlined it with pink and most likely it didn't get it perfectly. If that happens, all you have to do is go in and fill in the areas it missed. It works a lot like the object selection tool in Photoshop if you've ever worked with that. Similarly, if it included some areas you don't want, just hold Alt or Option on your keyboard, your cursor will turn red, and now you can just draw over the things you don't want to get rid of them. Also, if you have any hair or complex or delicate areas, you can just use the Refine Edge tool and draw over that, which will have the same effect, just a bit more precise. Once you're happy, either press play or drag it forward on this timeline and it'll use that first frame you selected to start outlining the rest of it. I recommend going all the way to the end of what you want to use. For me, it's just a few seconds. And just like the first time, you'll see throughout the timeline that it's making a few mistakes along the way. No worries, just go through and make those changes manually and After Effects will try its best to adapt accordingly. Since I'm just doing this for demonstration, I'm not going to worry about making it perfect, but take your time and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And before I move on, I just want to say make sure you save as frequently as possible. Rotoscoping puts a lot of strain on your computer and crashes are bound to happen, especially if you set the quality to best, which you're going to want to do if you're doing this for work or any serious project. With that out of the way, now that we're done, click freeze. This part is going to take a while as it starts locking in all of those frames into place. Of course, the longer your footage, the longer this is going to take and higher chance of crashing, so go easy and start small. Once it's finished, go back to the main composition and you'll see it's hidden everything except for what you've selected. Now for some things you can do with it. For starters, you can put it on a different background like this wall for instance. Doesn't that look amazing? No, I guess not. Okay, what about this field? See, that looks better, right? Ah, oh, look, he's got a little friend too. Jokes aside, let's say you were doing like a music video or a trendy commercial. As you can see, I've got this animated clip and I'm just gonna go down to my track mat drop down window and choose the baby and look at that. Pretty neat, right? Lastly, and what I think this effect is best for is pretty simple. It's just putting text behind your subject like what our intro had. All you need to do is get a copy of the original footage without the rotoscoping and place it under the subject. From there, just put any text you want in between the two layers like this and you're done. And now you know the basics to rotoscoping as well as a couple things you can do with it. Have fun! If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.